Hey, hope you're doing well. It's been a while since I've uh, done these videos. I was I was actually traveling, so I didn't really get the opportunity to 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 just sit down and and reflect and come up with the material for these trading psychology lessons. But yeah, I'm I'm back now, and so I'll, I'll resume my schedule of releasing a video on a bi-monthly basis. And today I want to talk about the importance of having a growth mindset as a trader. This is super important, but I'll, I'm going to make this very simple. First, what's a growth mindset? Well, essentially a growth mindset is, it's you, it's, it's essentially when you're in learning mode. That's, that's what it is. It's, it's when you are in a learning mode. And, and that learning mode is, is characterized by a set of attitudes in the mind. For instance, you, you embrace lifelong learning. You have a, a certain, uh, humility towards knowledge. You believe that consistent effort, uh, eventually leads to mastery. Right? You, you believe that failures are just uh, temporary setbacks and, and that they're an opportunity to grow and to learn and to become stronger. Um, you, you view, you view uh, feedback as a source of inf in information. You, you view others' successes as a source of inspiration, right? Not, not as something that, that something to be jealous of or, or resentful of. What else? You, you willingly embrace challenges. You, you willingly put yourself through challenges because you know, you, you intimately know that this is how you grow stronger as, as, as a, as a trader, more broadly as a human being. And because of that, because of, well, because of this growth mindset, this, this, this combination of attitudes and beliefs in your mind. Well, you, you grow faster. You, uh, you, you know, your path to mastery, to, to excellence and, and to success is, is drastically reduced. Then the opposite of that, the, 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 the opposite to a growth mindset is, is a fixed mindset. It's a mindset that, that is characterized by negative thinking. Like, uh, cynicism, uh, pessimism, uh, complaining, self-loathing, and all of that. And, and so, as a result, it's a mindset that's, that's more likely to believe that intelligence and, um, and talent are, are static, right? It's, it's, it's a mindset that avoids, uh, challenges to avoid failures, right? It's a mindset that, that ignores feedback from others and from the market that, that feels threatened and diminished by the success of others that, that likes to hide uh, failures and losses so as not to be judged by others that, that believes in that, that, that putting in effort uh, to learn something meaningful is worthless essentially because I said earlier, it's a mindset that believes that that, that, that believes that talent is innate. And so as a result, it's a, it's a mindset that views feedback as personal attacks, that once again complains a lot, that, that gives up easily. And so as a result, it, you know, this quote unquote fixed mindset, well, it, it breaks easily under pressure. It's, and, and, and so it, it makes one, it makes one less likely to succeed in the market. Or more broadly in, in life in general, you know, in many other fields like business, sports, entertainment, whatever it is. So you, you don't want that. All right. You, you don't want that kind of mindset. You don't want a fixed mindset, a, a loser's mindset. What you want to adopt is a, is a winner's mindset. It's, it's a growth mindset. All right. This is, crucial to your success in the market as a trader. Absolutely crucial. All right. And 
I, I mean, I could go on and on about what a growth mindset is and, and means, um, but at its core, it's simply this. It's, it's, it's you operating. It's, it's your entire being operating in, in, in a learning mode. That's, that's what it is. You're, you're in a constant learning mode. Look, the market hasn't been particularly easy the past couple of months, especially for swing traders like, like myself. Personally, I'm, I'm predominantly swing trader. Um, I'd, I'd say at least 70% of my trading funds go into swing, swing trades. Um, I'd, I'd say about 60% also of my trading, uh, is, uh, is made up of swing trades and, and the rest is split between, um, long-term buy and hold and, and day trading. So, I mean, the past couple of months, the, the market has been pretty tough on, on swing traders like myself, you know, lo lots of uncertainties, lots of, uh, lots of choppiness, right? And obviously, you know, as a trader, I like more predictability in my performance. I, you know, I like to make money on a day by day, you know, even month by month basis. Who doesn't, right? But as much as I, as, as much as I want that, this, I, I try as much as possible not to want, to, not to have such goals because well, because I understand that the market moves in phases and, and your system or your strategy or, or method, however you want to call this, will have periods of underperformance. That, that's just the name of the game. Okay. And, and so there's no point in, in agonizing over something that's out of your control. Uh, this is why it's, it's important. It's super important to maintain a growth mindset, right? So, so, so again, humility towards partial incomplete knowledge, uh, humility towards uncertainty, maintaining a willingness, a willingness to take risks and, and, and to see what you learn from, a, from that experience. Uh, it's maintaining childlike curiosity, seeing the good in things, right? It's arming yourself with patience and, 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 uh, seeing, you know, the good in everything, seeing everything as an opportunity for growth. That's what a growth mindset is. And it's, it's also about understanding that as a trader, you're never really arriving anywhere. You, you're not, you're, you're, you're constantly walking on this path and you're constantly growing and, and, and learning and evolving and refining and, and becoming right? You're, you're, you're becoming a better version of yourself. You're becoming a skillful tra trader. For instance, personally, I'm, I'm a very consistent and profitable systematic trader. I'm, I'm just good at sticking with, with rules because, you know, in my mind, I, I've, I've fully embraced, internalized the idea of playing the numbers game. Of, of uncertainty and a systematic approach plays to my strengths, right? Be, because, um, I'm, I'm just, I'm just good at being consistent like that, at following rules and, and rules that have been proven to, to protect me from myself. That's what your trading rules are. But when I trade discretionally, I tend to revert to my old patterns of FOMOing into suboptimal trades. Of, of getting frustrated by the market, by, by, by losses, of, um, of getting in and out of trades too early or too late. In all honesty, I'm, I'm just a lousy discretionary trader. You know, I, it's just, and, and, and it's something I'm, I'm still learning to, to be good at even after all these years. So once again, this journey of becoming a consistent trader. It's never ending. You're, you're, you're always refining and, and getting better and improving and evolving and overcoming. Right? And, and the moment you start thinking 
that you've arrived somewhere and, and that you've got nothing to learn is the moment you stop learning and, and growing and evolving. That's how I see it anyway. So it's important that you keep a growth mindset, that, that you keep that kind of mindset at all times, you know, that, that, that you keep that humility towards knowledge and learning, that, that you drop the ego, that, you, you know, the, uh, oh, I already know everything kind of mindset, kind of attitude, because the market will keep throwing challenges your way, challenges and uncertainty. And sometimes you'll, you know, Sometimes you'll get frustrated by that. Some, sometimes you'll do stupid things because of that. Things that you're not supposed to be doing. That, that's just part of your human nature. But whatever you do that causes you to lose, whatever happens that causes you, that, that sets you back a couple of steps, it, it's super important. It's super, super important to keep in mind that you're not starting from scratch, all right? You're, you're not starting from scratch. You're starting from experience and, and your experience is compounding. Your knowledge is compounding and, and, and you're growing. And once again, you're evolving amidst those setbacks. Thanks to those setbacks, one could argue. So in essence, in essence, a learning mindset, a growth mindset asks you to change your, your, your perspective from the uh, sort of, oh, I already know everything kind of attitude or, oh, I'm losing, I'm, I'm a losing trader, I'm not getting any better in trading kind of attitude to, oh, I'm on a learning journey. And, and that journey has ups and downs, sure. And, and, and I, I don't know everything, sure. But that's fine because I'm, you know, the less I know, the more I'm learning. And, and the less I acknowledge how much I don't know, the more I put myself in the position to learn more. And, and the more I allow myself to experience and, and the more learning happens, you know, the more, the more I keep growing. So you, you see, those are two different frame of minds, right? Frames of mind, sorry. Growth mindset, um, fixed mindset. They're very different and they produce two very different experiences, two very different inner experiences. So once again, keep a growth mindset and, and, and couple that with, I would say, an obsession with survival, an obsession with survival. This means that you, you must drop the get rich quick dream. All right. Look, time and again, this get rich quick mentality has been proven not to work. It, it doesn't work. It, it only delays success. Okay. So you must come to understand that success is a plan. It's, it's not just a dream, right? You, you must plan your success and, and you must understand that success is a long haul game. Success is a long haul game. And paradoxically, the more you understand this, um, I mean, you know, you're, 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 the, the, the easier is it, the easier it is to, to make strides towards your, towards success. So, so, so the more you understand that success is a long term game, the closer you get to success. Funny how this works, isn't it? So, once again, don't get ahead of yourself. If, if you, if you trade emotionally, if, if you're not master of yourself yet, now is not the time to trade position sizes that increase the likelihood that, that you'll make emotions based trading this, this decisions in the market. Okay. So hold your horses. All right. You, you, you'll have all your time to trade, to, to trade bigger sizes, to trade bigger sizes when you're a proficient trader who's a master of himself or herself, or, or whatever the pronouns are these days. So trade small sizes. Trading small sizes allow you to, to make plenty of, plenty of mistakes without blowing up. And 
as we have established, every mistake that you make is a learning experience. That, that's all it is, all right? A learning experience. Every mistake that you make is a learning experience. And um, yeah, trading small, trading small sizes um, allows you to make plenty of mistakes without blowing up. And, and trading small sizes allow you to, to, to go through losing periods in the market, which are inevitable while retaining ammunition for when the market starts favoring your strategy again. And it will. Eventually it will. You just need, need enough ammunition for when that happens. If, if you run out of chips or bullets or whatever analogy you want to use there, well, you, you can't take advantage of, of the opportunities, um, that, that the market will hand you when it decides to turn and, and favor your strategy again. And, um, yeah, that, that's why most traders can be profitable in the market. If you think about it, they, they don't have that discipline. They don't have that foresight, that, that long-term perspective that allows them to survive and thrive in the market. So think differently, think differently, act differently, and you will get different results. All right. So those are just some thoughts off the top of my mind about the importance of having a growth mindset and, and I wanted to share them with you. That aside, if you want more, some more hands-on help with your trading psychology, I can help you there. Absolutely. Um, aside from being a trader, I'm also a trading psychology coach and consultant and Look, I'm, I'm a work in progress myself. Okay. To be completely honest with you, but I like to think that I'm far enough in my own journey that I can provide some useful insights and feedback to help you make giant, giant leaps of progress towards consistency in your own trading in, in a record period of time, I would add. And, um, my approach to trading psychology is quite unique. I like to think I, I focus on three main pillars. First, the embrace of uncertainty. Second, uh, the whole emotional management aspect of, of, of this endeavor. And finally, third, it's, it's the accountability part. And this is absolutely crucial. So check out my coaching program link below. I'll put it somewhere in the description. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm very patient and very involved in my students' progress and success. But understand that, that this is a binomial effort. All right. I, I, I can provide the support and the, and the insights and the accountability that you need to grow as a trader, but I can't do the walking for you. All right. So this is something that you absolutely have to understand. You have to be willing to put in the work. So schedule a free call with me. Is, uh, you know, is, um, uh, let's, let's see if you have this quote unquote growth mindset and if we're a right fit to work together. 